In this video, I will show you how to integrate the FET science and math simulations into your Google Classroom. And this video is one in a series about Google Classroom integrations. If you're not familiar with FET and the interactive simulations that they have, and if you're a science and math teacher or you teach elementary age students, you should definitely check this out. The address is fet.colorado.edu, and when you get there, you can click this Play with a Sim button. You can browse or also filter the simulations that are here, and there really is just a wonderful amount of excellent simulations to help students learn science and math concepts. Once you've identified a simulation, you can just click on it, and then you can do some things to interact with the simulation. So for example, I'm changing the black body temperature and it's affecting the wavelength and that's about all I can say about this topic. But this is a good example of the type of interactive simulation that you'll find on FET. So the question is, how could I integrate this wonderful activity into my Google Classroom? Well, once you've identified the interactive activity or simulation that you would like to use in your Google Classroom account, just click on it and then look for this symbol here, the Google Classroom symbol. Click it and it takes you to a screen that you can use to share to Google Classroom. In my case though, it picked up my student account instead of my teacher account. So I'm gonna click here to switch to my teacher account and it takes me to the same window but in full screen mode, that's okay. But whether it looks small to you or big to you, it doesn't matter. Once you see this screen, you'll be able to share that FET simulation in your Google Classroom. I can just select which class I want to share it with. Let's say Spanish 2 because while learning Spanish, might as well learn some science. And I'll choose an action. Do I want this to be a material, just an activity for the students to participate in and try out? Do I want it to be a question? I could have them play with the simulation and then answer a question. Or do I want to make it an assignment with points, etc.? Well, I think there's several good options here, but in this case, I'm going to choose Ask Question, and I'll click Go, and it builds the question for me up to a point. I just need to go in now and type a question for the students. For example, what have you learned from using this simulation? I could put in some instructions. There we go. Play with this simulation for at least 10 minutes, trying out all of the settings and variables. Then describe in detail what you've learned from the simulation. I like it. I can make this question worth points or ungraded, either way. I can add a due date, students can reply to each other or not, and students could edit their answer. So those are options if you want to enable them. I'll just click ask, and now jumping into my student account, let's take a look at this FET activity. Notice it says the teacher has posted a new question, and I can click on that as a student. I see the question posed here, here are the instructions, and as the student, I can just click to go to the FET interactive simulation. I can play around with this for 10 minutes, exploring everything that I can learn about it, resetting it if I need to, and then when I'm done, I can just close out of the tab, going back to the question in Google Classroom, and I can click to type my answer. If I want to, as a student, I could add some comments, there we go, I can click to send those comments, and then I can click turn in, and turn in again. Back to the teacher account, just like you would expect. When I go into the assignment, looking at it as a teacher, I can see that Jason here has turned in the assignment, and I can click to see all that he learned, and also his comment. So like I said at the beginning, if you are a science or math teacher, or if you teach science or math concepts, let's say in an elementary school, FET is wonderful and it integrates very well into Google Classroom. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do subscribe, click the bell so you're notified whenever I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, you can do that through my Patreon account, and you can find a link to that in the description below.